Today, this video is all about how much harder is saltwater fish over freshwater fish. Let's go. Rightio, let's start off. This is a question I get asked in the store all the time. As soon as someone comes in looking at freshwater, a lot of them will see the salt water and go, how much harder is it to keep salt water than fresh water? My basic answer is to keep fresh water, salt water fish, not much harder. To keep fresh water, to keep salt water corals, or to keep corals, there's only salt water corals, a fair bit harder. I, my main suggestion is for a lot of people is start off with a fish only salt water tank. It's not that much harder, basically all you're doing is replacing fresh water with salt water, adding a few bits and pieces so you have to do less water changes, such as your skimmer and your, bio, and your certain types of media, and that's it. Filtration's easy, it's using live rock in, instead of, usually instead of your different medias, and yeah, there's not that much to it. The upfront cost can be more, live rock can get expensive. You could easily spend several hundred dollars, thousands of dollars on live rock plus equipment. But the actual keeping of the fish, not that hard. You just measure your nitrates, your pH, your alkalinity, all those things, just as you would in a freshwater, fish, uh, freshwater aquarium. But it's salt water. Salt water, water can be obtained two ways. You can obtain it from the ocean, which can be risky, but a lot of guys know it for a lot of years with no issues. Or like me, you use RO water from the from an RO system, which basically is highly filtered water, comes through a, a membrane, and then gets pushed through a carbon block filter, and moves all the nasties out of the water, <coughs> and then you mix it with salt. That's how we do. That's that's how we do it in store. That's how a lot of people do it. You can also use tap water, but you can get algae problems. You still have to prime it. I use something like Prime, um, but you can get away with that, especially in a fish-only aquarium. In another video, we're going to talk about reef aquariums. That gets a lot harder. There's a lot of different things to measure, especially if you're new, you've got to measure your calcium, your alkalinity, your magnesium, along with a whole bunch of other smaller chemicals to make those tanks that you see that are absolutely amazing. They take monitoring, especially at first. Once it's set up, use different machine, uh, dosing machines, you can dose the stuff. That's also going to be in another video. And it will work but to get the basics down first i don't believe it's that much harder to keep a saltwater fish only aquarium than it is to keep a freshwater aquarium you just need to slow down and learn the basics like your ammonia cycle still the ammonia cycle still the same in freshwater or salt water, we just deal with it in different ways. And the other thing is cost. It can be a little more expensive because most of the time you want to put sumps in, you want to have nice blue lights to get the best color out of the fish because at the end of the day on the reef, very blue, it's not like a, it's not like a dirty um, muddy colored creeks and things like that. That blue makes those colors in the fish pop. If you have any more questions on why um, on any of this stuff, we'll be doing lots more videos. Like this video, subscribe so you can see more of our content. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook. You can contact us via the email below. You can visit our website. We're about to run a plant sale in a couple of weeks. Um, we're gonna add a heap more plants to the website just for freshwater people out there and we're constantly adding more fish to the website. Any questions, hit us up on any other social media channels or email us, preferably not ring, especially during the day. Sometimes it's hard when I'm dealing with, when I'm talking with customers to get to that phone. You're gonna get a much quicker and cleaner response from messaging me on Facebook or emailing me. 
So thanks guys. I'll see you later.